Hi, I'm Benji Hardy. Uh, I've got your headlines for Wednesday, February 24th. To start off with, Donald Trump uh, dominated the Republican caucuses last night in the state of Nevada. Um, his win was so uh, pronounced that news outlets were able to call the race almost as soon as polls began to close around the state. Trump took 46% of the vote, more than 20%, 20 points ahead of his next closest rival, Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who won 24%. Texas Senator Ted Cruz came in third at 21%. That means that Trump took a larger share of the vote than both Rubio and Cruz combined. Uh, the win only confirms the fact that Trump is indeed the overwhelming favorite to become the Republican nominee for president at this point, as difficult as that may be to believe. Uh, the focus of the Republican presidential race now shifts to the Super Tuesday contest next week, which includes the state of Arkansas. To that end, all three of the major GOP contenders will be making campaign stops here in the coming days. Also, the Club for Growth, an anti-tax conservative organization out of D.C., is spending $1 million on ads to air in Arkansas and Oklahoma ahead of the March 1st primary that are focused on attacking Trump um, on the basis that his record identifies him as a secret liberal. Uh, that line of attack hasn't proved very effective against Trump in the past, but we'll see if it works this time. Uh, speaking of presidential politics, former Little Rock TV and radio personality Alice Stewart has been named the new communications director for Ted Cruz. Uh, Stewart is a longtime GOP political operative who had previously worked for Mike Huckabee's presidential bid in 2008 and his uh, ill-fated retry for the candidacy this campaign season. After Huckabee's campaign began to go down the tubes this year, um, Stewart moved to the Cruz campaign instead. She had been working as a senior communications advisor, traveling with the National Press Corps, but she'll now move up into the top communications position in the campaign. She replaces uh, former Cruz Communications head Rick Tyler, whom Cruz fired earlier this week after Tyler put out a misleading video about Marco Rubio on Facebook that questioned the rival candidate's religious faith. That incident didn't help Cruz, whose campaign has been accused by both Rubio and Trump of, of being underhanded. Moving on, uh, some bad news for hunters in Arkansas. A, an elk shot near the, near the Buffalo River last fall has tested positive for chronic wasting disease, the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission has announced. The disease is caused by a pathological agent called a prion, which makes it similar to uh, the agent that causes mad cow disease. Um, it causes fatal neurological de degeneration in, in deer, elk, and moose, and is endemic in some western states, such as Colorado and Wyoming. Uh, it's also been found occasionally in the middle region of the country, but this is its first occurrence in Arkansas. Now, the Center for Disease Control's website Make sure to mention that there's no, no uh, strong evidence of chronic wasting disease being transmittable to humans uh, or to livestock, but it's still recommended that people don't consume meat from animals that, have, uh, that are suffering from the disease. To determine how widespread the pathogen might be, the State Game and Fish Commission will be taking samples from as many as 300 deer and elk in a five mile radius from where the first case was detected. And in this case, samples does mean killing the animals since there is uh, no reliable um, test for chronic wasting disease while the animals are still alive. Finally, uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas Baptist College announced this morning that Fitz Hill will be stepping down early as president of the small historically black institution. Uh, that will happen effective September 1st. Hill has headed the school for a decade, during which time he's overseen large growth in student enrollment, but also difficulties with the college's financial situation. Uh, in December 2014, Arkansas Baptist was awarded a $30 million federal loan to refinance its capital debt and it had trouble paying its bills up until that point. The Arkansas Times has been told that Hill will continue working with the college after he leaves the, the, the top post, uh, but will be in charge of fundraising and development instead. Uh, that's it for, to, for now. We'll be back tomorrow with more news about the uh, March 1st primaries and judicial elections.